South Africa coach Dowie Theron, a couple of days out now from the final. What's the mood like amongst your squad? Oh, I think it's a, a, a very uh, calm, positive attitude amongst the players, and uh, I think we are at a good place at the moment. You know, the, the guys knew what is at hand, but they also f feel like the, the, the work has, has been done, and uh, we're anxiously awaiting it now. You know, uh, we've got one more training session. And, and a walkthrough that we need to do and uh, then uh, I think it's you know, the time has come you know that uh, that this is what we worked for and that this is the dream you know so it's it's now the time. And how have you seen the squad develop through the tournament? I mean, they had the difficult start with the loss to Ireland they then had to get those four tries in the second half against England how have they progressed as the tournament's gone on? Well I think you know we always knew that uh, your first game is going to be a difficult one because uh, especially at home in front of the home crowds and uh, in the first one it, it might be a little bit overwhelming and uh, the fact that we haven't really played under such pressure uh, in competition was also a factor and in all fairness we only uh, conceded two tries in the tournament and it was against Ireland and it came from two charge downs you know so uh, it was a difficult thing uh, to swallow, <laughs> a pull to swallow. And uh, in the end, you know, the, the guys, uh, luckily we've learned from that. And uh, the guys just uh, grew in, in belief and we stuck to what we believe in. And w in the end, we got the blend right between the kicking game and the, and the running game and, you know, and, 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 and a pack of forwards that can really carry the ball and, and get it over the advantage line, you know. And so in the end, I think we grew from game to game to a point where I thought that we played our best game uh, against Argentina you know it was a very, very gutsy performance against uh, England and we know what to do what we had to do what was required of us and uh, but against Argentina in the semi-finals I thought that that was maybe our best game uh, up to now so the team is growing and we believe that we can hopefully we'll pick in in the final and when you were in the changing rooms after the island loss did you, did you truly believe that you would be in the final well I I can honestly say uh, I, I believe firmly that we wouldn't have been here today if we didn't still believe that we will do it. There was never a doubt. Never, nobody actually said, I could see it in the guy's eyes. You know, They looked up at us and said, don't worry, we're going to do it. And I think that ironically pulled us much closer together as a team. So uh, luckily for us, it happened in that first game. And it's now easy to say, yes, we, we believe. There might, might have been one or two guys that, that had that little bit of a doubt. But we know that we, if we stick to what we believe in, and we stick to the game plan and, and what we've trained from for five, six months uh, and, and rely on the, on the, on the structures, then uh, we will get through it. You know? And the guys responded tremendously and uh, I think that's why we're here today. And how much of an inspiration to them has it been playing at home? Well, a lot. I think the first game uh, might have been a little bit overwhelming, like I've said already. But uh, after that, the guys learned how to to pull uh, energy from the from the home ground advantage and from the people and I must say the people responded unbelievable you know the, the guys came to the games like we've seen we never expected such a good crowd at the Cape Town Stadium and then uh, they topped that 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 uh, amount of people here at Newlands and uh, in the end that was just an awesome experience for the guys and that actually prepared them for the future for big rugby. And New Zealand, you play in the final. What are you expecting from the opposition? Well, they're a very proud rugby nation, the same as us. And uh, uh, we always say that it will be a dream final if it can be South Africa and New Zealand against each other. They, we respect them in the fact that they got, they're the trophy holders. They, they won it for over the last four years. And uh, we, we really don't want it any other way than to contest for that trophy against them in the final. So, I mean, that's what Vian Liebenberg was saying, that really... If you're going to win it, you want to win it, but you want to beat the defending champions so you can truly say, we are the best. Exactly. It's 100%. That is what we want to do. And what's it going to take? What's going to be a key, potentially the deciding factor in South Africa or New Zealand winning that final? Well, I think, uh, you know, uh, I always said that there is a little bit of amount of luck in a game, but in f when you get to finals, you've got to take your opportunities and you've got to limit mistakes and you've got to be very, very aggressive and in, in your defence and uh, you know you've got to be focused for, for 80 minutes and uh, the main thing is to take your opportunities and I believe discipline and defence will be a key factor.
And two of your players have been nominated for the Junior Player of the Year award, Jan Serfontein and Sean Adendorf. What have they brought to your squad? Yeah, I, I think uh, Sean Adendorf, we always knew that he was going to be a, a, a fighter. You know, he's a real guy, go out there, you know, he's, he, he will just get in there and, and give it all, you know. He, he's not scared to put his body on the line and he will be 100% there. You know, Jan Serfontein, uh, it's hard to believe that he was still at, at, at school level last year. You know, in the November, December last year, he couldn't make the, the trials that we held in Kimberley because he was writing exams, you know, so uh, uh, matric exams. And that uh, make it so much special, uh, so m that more special, you know, for a young guy to come through. He is uh, obviously a tremendous talent for the future. And uh, we believe that he is, uh, uh, both of them are worthy nom nominees for that, uh, uh, that position. And we've obviously talked to the players and we know what it would mean to them if they go on and lift the trophy. What would it mean to you as coach to be the coach of the Junior World Championship winners? Well, it will definitely be the cherry on the cake for hard work. You know, we, we've really uh, put a lot of structures in place and everybody around me worked very hard. Uh, some guys uh, ask me, you know, uh, how would you feel and, and, and what is the secret? There's no secret. It's just that, that I've got such a lot of capable people around me, you know, and I, uh, I surround myself with people that can do the job uh, sometimes better than I can do it myself. So uh, I believe that I believe in the guys that I work with. And, uh, you know, that is just the way it is. It, 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 it's the result of hard work and focus over the last couple of months.